Good morning, everyone. Today, our group of BAR will present you the business intelligence report from the data we loaded into our warehouse. We are going to cover the brief design of our data warehouse, KPIs for the mall company, and lastly, the three dashboards that we made. Okay, let's start with our data warehouse design. We have five fact tables, which include retail transaction, receipt analysis, payment analysis, promotion analysis, and store payment. We also have nine other dimensions, which include product, store, transaction type, discount, tenant, payment type, card, date, and time. And to answer the business question, we must understand the business background. For the mall company, we dive into its key performance index or KPIs, which include sales, profit, growth, retention, and market share. This KPI will help us create the dashboard that answer the business question and thus beneficial to those who are using this dashboard. Let's start with our first dashboard. So in this dashboard is a sales summary dashboard. We can choose year and quarter to scope out the data. On top left of the page, we have the total profit and average of net sales amount, which we can call the average amount paid in each purchase or in each transaction. And following that, we have quantity of products sold by category, which in this chart, we'll be able to know the top selling category for the mall comparing between each year. And on top right of the dashboard, we have monthly total profit by store category. Also the line in this chart represent the average profit in that month. And with this chart, the CEO will be able to know the top performing store category in the mall. Next, the bottom left chart show the net sale amount and average of net sale amount by quarter. This is an essential chart to compare how the company is doing compared to the quart quarterly average in its previous year. If it's underperforming, each different teams will need to dive down and bring back its sale amount. Similarly, on the middle bottom chart, it show net sales amount of each year by store category. And this is just to compare the sales amount of each store type and how much the company gain the gross revenue from each type. Lastly, the bottom right chart, it is the scatter plot between the profit and cost of each product category. And the size of the dot represents the quantity sold of each category. And this also have to play assets where you can see how it changes between this year. This chart is essential for the CEO to separate the product category into four groups, low cost, low profit, low cost, high profit, high cost, low profit, and high cost, high profit. And the company can consider to reduce or increase its sales or the quantity that they will be selling in each mentioned category thereafter. And next, my friend is going to tell you more about other dashboards. For this dashboard, we show the summary data of the payment. At the card, we show the total of customer. And the next is slicers. I use it to show the specific data of this dashboard according to year and quarter. For this card total amount and total profit dashboard, in this dashboard, the data show about the total discount amount and total profit considered by category type. We used to categorize data by category level too because the data is more common than the other product level. As marketing team and production team, they can know which product type can make profit or loss to the company. It makes them easier to make the decision of the product. For example, main fashion and lifestyle category level are the two main types that make income to the company, while food and beverage level product can make the less income to the company. Next, earn point dashboard. The earn point dashboard show the point that collected by different type of customer card. Marketing team can use this data to analyze the new rushing promotion. As we can see, most of the earn point come from AM Asia card member type. So company able to know that this customer have high potential to buy the product. Or Company can know that some card types are not necessary since there are no impact to the company, such as PM Russia Brook or AM Tourist Card. Next sale amount dashboard. This dashboard shows the total sale amount considered by card name. The data is generated for marketing team. 
because they can an analyze which member type have the higher sale in the company. There are a link between Earnpoint and Nestle on our dashboard. Since the guard name is a value data, if we click specific at the guard name type, it will show the data member type in visually of these two dashboard. Promotion and payment summary dashboard. There are three cards show the summary of total discount, number of promotion uses, discount key. These all three cards can track the customer activities. The selector is used to show the specific category of the store. So inspector can understand the dashboard easily. In this, in this dashboard, consider with number promotion uses dashboard. The dashboard show the use promotion categorized by store name and discount name. Not only marketing team can use this dashboard to analyze the promotion to see what, which promotion is work or not work for the future use. Retail team can also inspect the activity flow of each custom each store too, because the number of discount code can be referred to the number of customers that come to buy the product at the store. The next dashboard is number of purchase dashboard. This dashboard shows the percentage of purchase number related to store name and payment type. Retail team can analyze the payment type of customer and in each specific store. Nowadays, there are many ways of for products. So if the company knows which type is the most customer prefer and reduce the payment problem, the customer satisfaction will be higher and it will help to create good customer relationship. So next is customer segment dashboard. The slices are used to categorize data in the store category and area to show the specific data. The chart shows the different data of necessary amount which categorized with different data consists of market status, birth year, gender, retail type, and state. Marketing team can use this dashboard to analyze the customer information and select to do marketing in a specific group of customer. When click at the specific data, which is market status, birth year, gender, retail type, or the state, it will show, it will link to the other graph to show that specific data, so it is easily for user to inspect the overall data. So the last one is map dashboard. This dashboard shows the density of necessary amount of customer by the state. On this dashboard with the big server shows that the, this state has higher sales amount than the other state, which is in the smaller circle. Retail team can bring this data to analyze maybe the potential to opening the new retail store to increase the sale rate or make the contact with the local brand to increase the company sale.